What's your favorite thing about the NFL? Is it the amazing feats of athleticism, playing fantasy football, or the way star players can beat women unconscious and barely get punished for it? Ray Rice has been suspended a whopping two games for knocking his fiance unconscious in an Atlantic City casino. A witness told Deadspin that he knocked her out with an uppercut, while another said he hit her, quote, like you would hit a guy. This is video of Rice dragging Janae Palmer out of the casino elevator. They got married in May, a day after Rice's indictment for aggravated assault. You can tell it's true love by the way he almost gets her clear of the elevator door before dumping her on the floor. Oh. And yes, it's true that Palmer was also arrested for attacking Rice. If you think this somehow justifies a man punching a woman unconscious, congratulations, you're qualified to be commissioner of the NFL. Things that are worse than knocking a woman unconscious, according to the NFL. Number one, taking Adderall without a prescription. You would have to knock out two women to equal the suspension you get for taking a drug that helps you pay attention in the film room. Or maybe you could just knock out the same woman twice. I'm not really sure how Commissioner Goodell's math works. Two, get into a bar fight. Cedric Benson earned a three game suspension in 2010 for misdemeanor assault charges. It was later reduced to one game, but the point remains, violence against men gets a stiffer suspension. Number three, get free tattoos in college. Terrell Pryor got a five game suspension for leaving Ohio State early and entering the NFL supplemental draft. You'd have to knock two and a half women unconscious to equal the punishment for free tattoos. Commissioner Goodell cares about integrity. And number four, smoke pot. One joint is approximately equivalent to one unconscious woman, but that second joint is expensive. You'd have to knock out eight women to equal the punishment for smoking something that doesn't even enhance performance and most Americans think should be legalized. How the f do we like this league? You know, the NFL spends a month of every season supporting breast cancer awareness, and it's a shame that that feels like such a hollow gesture, because if the NFL actually cared about women, it would be serious about punishing the employees who committed acts of violence against them.